All right, hi guys. Today we are gonna be working on how to take a photograph using Zoom, using your laptop and fulfilling the requirements of our project. We're gonna be focusing on expression and pulling an amazing and a crazy face. So we're gonna take a look at what that looks like. So right now you can see Miss Robson is my fabulous model sitting at her table uh, with her laptop. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna set it up so we have the best position possible. Right now, I can look at the image and I can see that Miss Robson is sort of leaning forward a little bit. I think she's looking down at her laptop, but I'm not sure. So what I'm gonna ask is, since Miss Robson's my model and I'm the photographer, I'm the director of this situation, I need to tell Miss Robson what she needs to do. So Miss Robson, I need you to sit upright, nice and stiff and, and make, maintaining a solid posture. Maybe, maybe if you're on a laptop, your laptop is too low. Could you lift it up with maybe some books underneath or something like that? Okay, see now that's much better. She's got a nice straight line to her neck, gives me her shoulders, her neck and her face. And these are the parts that I'm going to need for the photography that we're going to be doing today. So the photography that we're gonna be doing today is gonna to be using a few key words to cause an expression. We've talked about this in class and we've looked at the artwork of Howard Schatz, um, but what we're going to do is we're gonna be replicating it in our own way. So this next stage of this video is gonna be done as different types of reactions you can do and what you as the photographer will tell your model to do. The last thing we need to discuss before we get started is how we take the pictures. Most of you should know how to take a screen capture or a screen grab, um, but what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be using the apps and tools available to you, which I'll demonstrate in a moment, okay? Please make sure that you are using a screenshot if you're using Mac. or snipping tool if you're using Windows. To take a capture of the screen. That's gonna be like you clicking the button on your camera so that you can actually take a photograph, sort of, of your model at their own home with their mask off. Okay, so now that my model is ready and at home in a position that allows me to see her face and her neck and her shoulders, I'm gonna give her her phrase and she's gonna to have to create a character and an expression and hold that so that I can take a picture. All right, that part is really important. So your first phrase, Miss Robson, is that you are a bandito who's very kindly, but a bit of a Rick Rowland sort of guy. So can you kind of come up with a bandit that's a bit kind and a little bit of a Rick Roller? Now, as the photographer, you might have to give your model some other ideas to help create the character. Now, of course, sometimes you can't get it just right. Okay, sometimes your, your model can't come up with an idea and that's okay, you guys are art students. You're not drama students. So I'm hoping that you guys can get there, but we're just gonna do our best. We're gonna start with a, a phrase that, a, a few words that are gonna help kind of create a character, create a personality for the character that your model is gonna create. So the phrase that we're gonna be using is you're a fanboy, okay? So someone who's really into comics and sci-fi and all the rest of it, kind of a big geek like me, all right? You're really kind of interested in you know, being silly and a little bit ridiculous and um, supernatural. So what sort of character would you be? So try to go for something like um, someone who's like super excited to be like, <gasps> like, just, like just kind of over the top ridiculous. Okay, so you're coming up with a silly supernatural fanboy. Okay, so who's your super excited fanboy Comic-Con character that you can come up with? So you're gonna take the picture as the photographer. Now that I've taken the picture, I notice a couple of things. One, I think that the, the appearance could be a little bit bigger, a little bit excited. So I'm gonna have Miss Robson really bring the 
like energy and really, really hold her arms stiff. And you can see I'm modeling what I want her to do. So you really, really hold it stiff, really big smile. Oh, super ridiculous. The biggest actor you've ever met right now. Go for it. Hold it, hold it. The photographer has to give instructions and take your picture. And that is how you get the picture that you need. All right, so Miss Robson, your next character that you're gonna be making is a really jealous beauty queen. What's she gonna look like? All right, and photographer, take your picture. And there we go. You might choose to take more than one photo if you have an opportunity with your model because with each of these phrases, I'm gonna be giving you two or three minutes before I introduce the next phrase. So you kind of have to get to the idea as quickly as possible. All right, don't forget to say thank you to your model and be prepared, whatever you put your model through, she's gonna put you through for section of the photography. So don't forget, don't be mean to your model, they'll get you back in a few minutes. <laughs> 